Welcome back, strangers. Your main man, MBR. Gonna be bringing you gamer news with MBR. Alright, what an exciting day today has been. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the LOL project skins that have been released today. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. And on top of that, Rexar has been released in Heroes of the Storm, which is just because it's exciting for myself. So, we're kicking things off with the brand new skins. League of Legends dropped a trailer earlier today, showing them all badass. Bar Leona, where was she at? Project Cameraman Leona, I think so. I can see her in tears all about that. I'm not sure why she was kind of ditched from that and why they're all against Zed. Why is Zed the bad guy? And he's the cool man, you know? Fuck Lucian and Yi and all that shit. But really cool trailer, link is in the description for that. All right. But one thing, what has happened is I went onto the store, all excited, rubbing my hands, thinking they were gonna be 975 RP, but boy was I wrong. Deary me, they're all at 1,350 RP bar Master Yi, which I don't know why Yi is so fucking epic, he's at 1,820, like what the fuck. But basically this is just kind of like a promotion thing, so if you buy the skins between today and the 15th of September, they will cost you that price, but the uh, cool thing, I guess, it depends how you want to look here, your bank account will balance will be a lot less, is the fact that you get like a special loading screen, as you'll probably be able to see in the video, I've got some pictures of that, which do look cool, but on the 17th of September, you'll be able to pick them at 975 RP. I don't know if this works for Yi, but it doesn't really clearly state that, but potentially, which I think would be a bit crazy for it to drop down so low, but you won't get the loading screens. And do you want the loading screens? Do you want them now? Do you want to be epic? It's down to you. I haven't actually bought any yet. I'm kind of on the fence. I was thinking about getting a bundle because the bundle's really cool, but the bundle, right, <laughs> catch this. If you want to buy the bundle outright, you have no champions which are included in this, and you have none of the skins, and Yasu's included in this bundle, it costs 1,000 or 14,405 RP, which I worked out to be a current about 70 English pounds, and dollars is pretty much like about $120, I'm not too sure on the conversion rate. But for myself, because I own all the champions and I also own the Yasuo skin, it would be 72,000, yeah, pretty much 72,000 RP, which is £35, which is still quite a bit of money, but you're getting five skins for it, and the skins are badass. And on top of that, you get the ward skin, and I believe you get all the project icons as well. And if you fancy picking up the project icons individually, you know, you want to buy them as a bundle on their own, that's a thousand RP, which I disagree with. You know, I think you should get these summon icons for free. Here is a storm has a great logic where you basically play and you get icons. You get to like level nine of a uh, champion, you get like a master icon, and that's the way it should be. League, uh, money grabbing bastards. I love League of Legends but they do love their money. <laughs> but yeah, so so they're out really cool. Obviously there's a new ward. The skins I haven't had the pleasure of obviously seeing anyone play them yet, but hopefully I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy them right now because of the pre price increase, but I will definitely be getting some at some point in time. Maybe it'll be next week when they're a little bit cheaper. But we'll have to wait and see. On top of that though, moving on to Heroes of Storm for any of you guys that play that game. And if you don't, I really recommend checking out guys. If you love League of Legends, you're bound to love Heroes of the Storm. It's just equally as fun, and if not more fun. Both games have different eh, different positives and disadvantages and whatnot. But Rexar, who is a hunter from World of Warcraft, has been released into Heroes of the Storm. From what I know, I've never been a massive World of Warcraft player, but Rexar was originally like a hunter, and they've actually made him like a tank class in this, which is really cool. It's basically he's this tanky warrior, he can actually throw axes at you. So he throws axes, but he has a pet bear that follows him around. You can't actually control the bear, but he attacks with you attack, and this bear is basically the tank. So he has, he has a stun, so you can actually stun multiple people, which looks badass. I've actually had a couple of games of him earlier today and I picked him up. Really cool. And so he has this bear charge, you can heal your bear, so it's basically about your bear and you've got to play safe. You're sort of like an AD carry in some sense. He's very squishy. I've been a couple of my times I was very badly positioned and I would insta-die, but the bear is pretty badass. He jumps in there and stuns bots, so it'd be interesting to see how he comes out. But there will be some gameplay up on my channel later today of Rexar and in his skin. His skin's really cool. I pick up a bundle for about £9.70, which I picked up. It basically means you get a chance for a few quid. And I don't have 15,000 gold lying around because I've spent 40,000 gold on flipping mounts over the last like, month. That's where all my gold's gone. But yeah, really cool. Really, really cool champion. The only downside at this moment in time is the queue time. It's taken me about 7 minutes to get into a game because every noob wants to play him. 
every game I've gone into, they've had one on my side and one on the enemy side, but that's generally the case with new champions. Probably in about a week's time, it'll die down a little bit. But everyone's pumped up for him, and they say they should be. It's really cool. And it's the reason I love Heroes of the Storm so much is the different mechanics they bring to the game what would never happen in the league. You would never have a character in League of Legends where you've got like a pet bear that follows you around and can do stuff, or like the Lost Vikings where you can control three characters at once. Oh, that's fucked up, crazy shit. Murky, who dies every fucking five seconds and he just respawns. It's, cra it's just crazy shit. But, you know, both games got disadvantaged. You know, it's up to you. But I recommend checking Heroes of Storm out, guys, if you haven't already. There's lots of videos up on my channel of that. But that's pretty much coming to the end of the video. It's uh, quick and easy. But what I want to throw out to you is my question of the day. What do you think of these Project Skins? I asked you this last time, but now you've seen the price, will you be picking them up for the full price right now and getting the bonus loading screen, or will you wait a week and get it for a lot cheaper? You know, they're about 400 RP cheaper if you wait, which is quite an amount of RP. You know, if you've not got money to be throwing around, it's, uh, it's a big saving. So I'd like to know your thoughts, guys. Drop me a comment in the section below. Ah, love you much. Take care. Peace.